Bundism was a secular Jewish socialist movement, whose organizational manifestation was the General Jewish Labor Bund in Lithuania, Poland, and Russia. Yiddish, Algmayan Yiddishar Arbiter Bud in Light Pwilin on Ruslan Translate. Algemeiner Yiddishar Arbiter Bund in Lita, Poland und Russland, founded in the Russian Empire in 1897. The Jewish Labor Bund was an important component of the social democratic movement in the Russian Empire until the 1917 Russian Revolution. The Bundists initially opposed the October Revolution, but ended up supporting it due to pogroms committed by the Volunteer Army of the White Movement during the Russian Civil War. Split along communist and social democratic lines throughout the Civil War, a faction supported the Bolsheviks and eventually was absorbed by the Communist Party. The anti-communist socialist Bundist movement continued to exist as a political party in independent Poland in the interwar period as the General Jewish Labor Bund in Poland, becoming a major, if not the major, political force within Polish Jewry. Bundists were active in the anti-Nazi struggle, and many of its members were killed during the Holocaust. After the war, the International Jewish Labor Bund, more properly the World Coordinating Council of the Jewish Labor Bund, was founded in New York, with affiliated groups in Argentina, Australia, Canada, France, Israel, Mexico, the United Kingdom, the United States and other countries. Ideology Marxism While the Jewish Labor Bund circle was a trade union as well as a political party, its initial purpose was the organization of the Jewish proletariat in Russia, Poland and Lithuania. Secularism A staunchly secular party, the Jewish Labour Bund took part in Kahilat elections in Poland. Yiddishism The Jewish Labor Bund, while not initially interested in the Yiddish per se as anything more than a vehicle to exhort the masses of Jewish workers in Eastern Europe, soon saw the language and the larger Yiddish culture as a value and promoted the use of Yiddish as a Jewish national language in its own right. To some extent, the promotion of Yiddish was part and parcel of the Bund's opposition to the Zionist movement, and its project of reviving Hebrew. <laughs> The concept of doikate lit. Hearness. Yiddish. Topic. Do I kate, do I kate, German. Da kate, French equals. I c i t -e, was central to the Bundist ideology, expressing its focus on solving the challenges confronting Jews in the country in which they lived, versus the thereness of the Zionist movement, which posited the necessity of an independent Jewish polity in its ancestral homeland, i.e., the land of Israel, to secure Jewish life. <laughs> National cultural autonomism The Jewish Labor Bund did not advocate ethnic or religious separatism, but focused on culture, not a state or a place, as the glue of Jewish nationhood, within the context of a world of multicultural and multi-ethnic countries. In this the Bundists borrowed extensively from the Austro-Marxist concept of national personal autonomy, this approach alienated the Bolsheviks and Lenin, who were derisive of and politically opposed to Bundism. In a 1904 text, Social Democracy and the National Question, Vladimir Metem exposed his version of this concept. Let us consider the case of a country composed of several national groups, e.g. Poles, Lithuanians and Jews. Each national group would create a separate movement. All citizens belonging to a given national group would join a special organization that would hold cultural assemblies in each region and a general cultural assembly for the whole country. The assemblies would be given financial powers of their own, either each national group would be entitled to raise taxes on its members, or the state would allocate a proportion of its overall budget to each of them. Every citizen of the state would belong to one of the national groups, but the question of which national movement to join would be a matter of personal choice and no authority would have any control over his decision. The national movements would be subject to the general legislation of the state, but in their own areas of responsibility they would be autonomous and none of them would have the right to interfere in the affairs of the others. Opposition to Zionism 
Before the creation of the State of Israel The Jewish Labor Bund, as an organization, was formed at the same time as the World Zionist Organization. The Bund eventually came to strongly oppose Zionism, arguing that emigration to Palestine was a form of escapism. After the 1936 Warsaw Kahila elections, Henrik Ehrlich created an incident by accusing Zionist leaders Yitzhak Gruenbaum and Zev Jabotinsky of being responsible for recent anti Semitic agitation in Poland by their campaign urging Jewish emigration. Topic. After 1947 The Bund was against the UNGA vote on the partition of Palestine and reaffirmed its support for a single bi-national country that would guarantee equal national rights for the Jewish and Arab Palestinian populations and would that it be under the control of superpowers and the UN. The 1948 New York Second World Conference of the International Jewish Labor Bund condemned the proclamation of the Zionist state. The conference was in favor of a two-nation state built on the base of national equality and democratic federalism. A branch of the Jewish Labor Bund was created in Israel in 1951, the Arbiter Ring in Yisrael, Brith Havoda, which even took part in the 1959 Knesset elections, with a very low electoral result. Its publication, Lebens Fregen, is still being published as of 2014. It is one of the relatively few left-wing Yiddish language publications in existence. The 1955 Montreal Third, World Conference of the International Jewish Labor Bund decided that the creation of the Jewish state was an important event in Jewish history that might play a positive role in Jewish life, but felt that a few necessary changes were needed. The conference participants demanded that a, the authorities of Israel should treat the state as property of the Jews the world. B, but it would mean that the affairs of the Jewish community in Israel should be subordinate to those of world Jewry. C. The policy of the State of Israel would be the same toward all citizens regardless of their nationalities. D. Israel should foster peace with the Arabs. This required halting territorial expansion and resolving the Palestinian refugee problem. E. Yiddish should be taught at all educational institutions and would be promoted in public life. The World Coordinating Council of the Jewish Labor Bund was quietly disbanded by a number of Bundists and representatives of related organizations, including the Workmen's Circle and the Congress for Jewish Culture in the early 2000s. The London-based Jewish Socialists Group, which publishes the magazine Jewish Socialist, considers itself an heir of the historic Jewish Labor Bund. Topic. Bundist members of parliaments or governments Moshe Gutman, member of the Central Council of Ukraine in 1917, then minister without portfolio in the short-lived Autonomous Belarusian National Council and Belarusian People's Republic Noah Meisel member of the Saima between 1922 and 1931 twice re-elected, Dogovpils City Council member Moise Rafes member of the 1917 Russian Constituent Assembly and also of the Central Council of Ukraine, member, as General Controller, of the General Secretariat of Ukraine the chief executive body of the Ukrainian People's Republic from 28 June 1917 to 22 January 1917. 1918. Alexander Zolotarev, successor of Moise Rafes Szmul Zygielboim (1895–1943), member of the National Council of the Polish Government in Exile (March 1942 until his suicide in May 1943). Emanuel Scherer, member of the National Council of the Polish Government in Exile after Szmul Zygielboim's suicide. Secretary General of the International Jewish Labor Bund (1961–1977). Michal Frey, member of the same in 1947–1948 Topic Notes Topic References Topic In English Yosef Gorny, Converging Alternatives, The Bund and the Zionist Labor Movement, 1897–1985, Sunni Press, 2006, ISBN 978-0-7914-6659-9 Jonathan Frankel, Jewish Politics and the Russian Revolution of 1905 Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv University, 1982 21 pages Jonathan Frankel, 
Prophecy and Politics, Socialism, Nationalism, and the Russian Jews, 1862–1917, Cambridge University Press, 1984, ISBN 978-0-521-26919-3 Jack Lester Jacobs ed., Jewish Politics in Eastern Europe, The Bund at 100, Zydowski Institut Historichny, Institut Naukau Badachi, New York, New York University Press, May 2001, ISBN 0-8147-4258-0 Jack Lester Jacobs, Bundist Counterculture in Interwar Poland, Syracuse University Press, 2009, ISBN 0-8156-3226-6 Bernard K. Johnpol, The Politics of Futility. The General Jewish Workers' Bund of Poland, 1917–1943 Ithaca, New York, Cornell University Press, 1967 N. Levin, while Messiah tarried, Jewish Socialist Movements, 1871–1917, New York, Schocken Books, 1977, ISBN 978-0-8052-0616-6 N. Levin, Jewish Socialist Movements, 1871–1917, while Messiah tarried, London, Routledge and K. Paul distributed by Oxford University Press, 1978, ISBN 978-0-7100-8913-7 Y. Peld, Class and Ethnicity in the Pale, The Political Economy of Jewish Workers Nationalism in Late Imperial Russia, New York, St. Martin's Press, 1989, ISBN 978-0-333-41255-8 Antony Polonsky, The Bund in Polish Political Life, 1935-1939, in, Ezra Mendelssohn ed., Essential Papers on Jews and the Left, New York, New York University Press, 1997 C. Belazel Sherman, Bund, Galuth Nationalism, Yiddishism, Herzl Institute Pamphlet No. 6, New York, 1958, ASIN B0006AVR6 U. Henry Tobias, The Origins and Evolution of the Jewish Bund Until 1901, Ann Arbor, Michigan, University Microfilms, 1958 Henry Tobias, The Jewish Bund in Russia from its Origins to 1905 Stanford, Stanford University Press, 1972 Enzo Traverso, From Moses to Marx, The Marxists and the Jewish Question, History of a Debate 1843-1943, New Jersey, Humanities Press, 1996 Review A. K. Wildman, Russian and Jewish Social Democracy, Bloomington, Indiana University Press, 1973 Documents The Resolution of the Tenth Conference of the Bund, April 1917 Topic in French Daniel Blattman, Notre Liberté et la Vôtre, Le Mouvement Ouvrier Juif Bund en Pologne, 1939-1949, 2002, ISBN 2-204-06981-7 French Review Alain Brissat, La Yiddishland Révolutionnaire, Paris, Balland, 1983 ISBN 2-7158-0433-4 Ali Eberlin, Juifs Russes, Le Bund et le Sionisme. Un voyage d'étude. Paris, Cahiers de la Quinzaine, 6 e Cahier de la 6 e Siri, 1904, 155 pages ASIN B001 C9XEME Vladimir Medem, Ma Vi, Paris, Champion, 1969, Memories of a Bund Leader, Henri Minchelis, La Résistance du Bund en France Pendant l'Occupation, Le Monde Juif 51-154, 1995, 138-53 Henri Minchelis, Histoire Générale du Bund. Bund, Un Mouvement Révolutionnaire Juif, Editions de Noël, Paris, 1999, ISBN 2-207-24820-8 Claudie Weil, Les Cosmopolites, Socialisme et Judaïté en Russie 1897-1917, Paris, Editions Silps, Collection Utopie Critique, Fur. 2004, ISBN 2 84797 080 0. Presentation Enzo Traverso, De Moïse Marx, Les Marxistes et la question juve, Paris, Kimé, 1997. Union progressiste des Juifs de Belgique, 100 e anniversaire du Bund. Actes du colloque, minorités, démocratie, diasporas, Bruxelles, UPJB, 1997, ISSN 0770-5476 Nathan Weinstock, Le Pan de Misere, Histoire du Mouvement Ouvrier Juif en Europe, L'Empire Russe Jusqu'en 1914 Paris, Le Découverte, 2002, Vol. 
I ISBN 2-7071-3810-X Nathan Weinstock, Le Pan de Misere, Histoire du Mouvement Ouvrier Juif en Europe, L'Europe Centrale et Occidental Juice Queen 1945 Paris, La Découverte, Vol. 2 ISBN 2-7071-3811-8 Movie, Nat Lillenstein DIR, Les Révolutionnaires du Yiddishland, 1983, KUIV Productions and A2 French Review Topic in German Arya Gelbard, Der Judische Arbeiter Bund Russlands im Revolutionsjahr 1917, Wien, Europaverlag, 1982 Materialien zur Arbeiterbewegung, NR, 26, ISBN 978-3-203-50824-5 Gertrude Picken, Gegen den Strom. Der Allgemeine Judische Arbeiterbund, Bund in Poland, 1918-1939, Stuttgart, Munich, DVA, 2001, 445p. Schriftenreihe des Simon Dubno Institutes, Leipzig, ISBN 3-421-05477-0 French Review. <laughs>